Welcome back to my kitchen. I feel the need to apologize before anything begins here today. I would love to come to an understanding that uh, sometimes you make mistakes, okay? And I think today I'm gonna make one. I'm like 95% sure that today a big mistake will take place literally right here. But that leaves a small chance that we have the weirdest success I've ever had on this channel with a recipe. Most times I cook, for you guys. I'm making food that is nostalgic to me or just one of my favorite dishes or just a different way to make something. Most of the time, frying it. This time is very different. Um, I received a few, actually, of you guys tweeting me this link from BuzzFeed. I think the title of the tweet or the thumbnail of the tweet was, how can I fight a recipe? So this comes from a website or a blog called The Stingy Vegan. And this is her take on a plant-based pulled pork sandwich. Are you holding any hot coffee? Maybe try sitting down before I say this next part. We will be taking these and making pulled pork. That's fucking really loud, would you just watch her? You might be asking yourself, that's disgusting. Well, yourself would be right, because it is disgusting, right? Like, and we're not using the bananas. We're gutting the bananas and just using the peels. The recipe is banana peel pulled pork. Again, my deepest apologies to everybody watching this video, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta take a risk, you gotta try something that's a little bit crazy, uh, even if you know it's gonna be bad which I'm pretty sure this is gonna be bad. It's actually a really, really quick and easy recipe, thank God, because we can get this over with. Basically what you wanna do, and the less ripe the banana, the better, because I think you want like a firm peel. We're just gonna gut this thing out, take the banana out, waste a perfectly good banana. Actually, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna set it aside for a smoothie later, because after I'm done throwing this up, I'm gonna wanna have some sort of nutrients into my body. And then you're gonna literally like take a fork and pull it so it's in the shape of pulled pork, then you're gonna season it, cook it, and put it on a sandwich. And then you're gonna say you're sorry, and you're gonna move on with your life. That's what we're doing today. Let's, let's do this, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna make banana peel fucking pulled something. Uh, I opened the dishwasher too soon. Okay, that's better. Two medium firm bananas, okay? You're gonna take these two bananas. So what we're gonna do is um, cut off the ends like that, and then you wanna slice right down the middle, and you're gonna peel each side away, I think. Don't waste this. Use it for a smoothie or something. Set them aside. There needs to be some good that comes of this. Now the next weird thing I never thought I'd have to ever do in general or in a kitchen or on video is take a spoon and scrape out, like literally scrape out the rest of like the banana left over inside. Cause you want it to be as bland as possible so as to allow it to take to the new spices and flavor. If you're new to the channel and this is the first time you're watching me, extra apologies to you. But also I would like to say that I normally don't make recipes that are this dumb. Basically, you're just gonna spend a lot of time scraping out all the good flavors of this so we could put other flavors into it. I've never really had great jackfruit pulled pork. I know that jackfruit is like most commonly used for plant-based pulled pork and I've never had a really good one. I've had okay ones. I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a time when I was really blown away by it and I can't, I can't think of one. So maybe banana peels is the way to make it true. Open sesame, BB. Oh, hello dogs. Even you guys aren't gonna be interested in what I'm cooking today. All right, is your mouth watering yet? And so next you're gonna take a fork and literally pull it into like little shreds of like pulled pork size pieces. And uh, and then we're gonna try, I don't know if we wash them, do we wash them? Oh, you're supposed to wash them first. Okay, well that's too late. <sighs> All right, so maybe I wash them really quick right now. This is my sous chef, her name's Peach. if you don't remember. Does this look appetizing to you? Yeah, I know, me neither. I'm sorry to betray you like this. Normally I have something good to give you. Well, I'm gonna take this fork and literally just take all my anger and frustration with this recipe, shred this banana peel. Oh my God, what am I doing? And then I think you wanna just like 
cut it in half so that this is the size. Just to think, two perfectly good bananas had to go through trauma because I just wanted to make a shit post recipe. I feel guilty. Oh God. You know, when I was a kid, you know, I would eat like orange peel for like a dare. And I think at one point I probably ate a piece of a banana peel. No one dared me to do this. I'm not surrounded by peer pressure. I'm doing this on my own free will. And I, I don't know why. Also, if you were wondering what the grossest looking thing you could ever get on your fork, it's the remnants of a shredded banana peel. That's what, that's what this is. It is so vile looking. All right, so you're gonna need olive oil, paprika, chili powder, dry mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin. Onto the spice drawer we go. Also, you're gonna wanna make sure you apologize to your spices before you subject them to this. One and a half tablespoons of olive oil, some paprika, some cumin, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Just basically everything that you have to try to make this thing taste good. Some chili powder, because we're making some pulled pork, baby. The real stuff. And you're gonna do some dried um, ground mustard as well. Freshly ground black pepper, pinch of salt. Everything smells really delicious now, but don't, don't let that fool you. It's literally just spices and olive oil. I'm actually pretty curious to know like the consistency that this ends up with once I'm done cooking it, because you're pretty much just gonna cook it in a little pan for like five, 10 minutes. All right, it looks pretty evenly coated. I'm actually gonna let that sit for a second and think about what it's done while it's on timeout. And I'm gonna make some coleslaw. It's just some cabbage and, or like coleslaw mix with a little bit of vegan mayo. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar as well. And then just a touch of apple cider vinegar. I am not an expert at making coleslaw. In fact, I don't think I've ever really made coleslaw, but this is a recipe I found and it should be fine. Like no matter how bad this coleslaw ends up, probably not gonna be the worst part of this recipe. There is cabbage all over my kitchen. I think it's about time to do this. We are gonna go over here to the pan and we are gonna cook this. So I believe we're gonna try to cook this for five to 10 minutes or until it seems edible texture, but not mush. Here we go. I think at some point I'm gonna to have to take a piece out and try it just to make sure the consistency is right. And oh boy, I'm excited. Well, here goes. What the fuck? I can't even eat it. Oh my God, it's exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like. I just bit into a banana peel covered in spices. That was disgusting. All right, well, I have to, I have to cook it longer. That was not even edible. Oh my God. As much as I'm shitting on this recipe, I am taking it seriously. Like I'm, I'm fully following every single step to make sure that if this is actually good, I'm gonna try it and it's gonna be good. And that was horrible. <laughs> what? I'm so sick and you know it's nasty. What? The smell of cooking banana peels. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm experimenting. Ew. Ew. I tried it. It's as bad as it looks. Julian, oh, ew. I'm gonna try it again real quick. Do you wanna watch? What is, what's on there? Babe, it's basically pulled pork. Oh, no, it's basically not. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I could at least bite into that one. It still tastes like a banana peel. I had to do it to him. You know I had to. Actually, the truth is, I really, really didn't have to do this to him, uh, but I did it to him. Uh, choose your fighter. Plot twist. They're, the, they're both the same fighter and they're both fab. I guess at this point I have to take a bite of the sandwich. Here we go, I'm gonna eat this.
Okay. That is the most foul thing I've ever put in my mouth. How is that a recipe? How, oh my God. I feel stupid for giving that a try. It is so bitter. It is just as bitter as you think a banana peel would taste. Oh my God, dude. Oh no, 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 no. How can I fight a recipe is the accurate response to this. How can I fight this recipe? This is so bad. And I'm, I'm being honest. I would be the first to debunk how bad this recipe was if it actually tasted good. That was revolting. It was like bitterness all over my mouth. No matter how much seasoning or oil or coleslaw or bread I put on that, just, I'm still tasting it. It's just like bitter. <sighs> Get away from me. Waiter, thank you, uh, but I did not like this. You can take it back to the kitchen. I'll pay the full price so I can leave and never come back. I feel so let down by myself, uh, by bananas who I've trusted for so long, by vegan ingenuity, which was nowhere present in this recipe today. Two poor bananas had to die for that shitty recipe. I don't know what else to say. I hope you got what you came for because I sure as fuck did and it's disgusting. And I'm gonna be going back to cooking mac and cheese and things that I know will not betray me next time because this was something I do not wanna relive. That's it, That, that's it. I need to go brush my teeth or something. For those of you who tweeted me this recipe asking me to try it, thank you so much. You mean the world. <laughs> I don't have any answers right now. So if you could just give me some space, That was so bad. If you want me to rate that out of 10, negative 100. Do not make this. Do not make this. I'll see you later. Fucking disgusting.